Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And New Zealand is back. It has survived. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it's been such a headache the last few days. It always is when a new update comes out, when there's new mods. Trying to get everything working, and it looks like everything is okay in the city, unbelievably. I had a few near misses uh the last couple of days at the beginning of the week it was just i was thinking we're never going to get new tealing back haven't even started trying to fix blighty on the wall yet um because um building themes i think is not working or so i've been told um so yeah that is like a big thing so in this city of course building themes was used in areas like this um, let's just move over here, just following one of those high-speed trains. Yeah, so this little spot here in Hickory District. Um, hopefully, if it doesn't, if they don't all update their houses, uh, upgrades, then they should stay as they are. But we'll see what happens. But, of course, today, we are diving into the airport stuff. The airport DLC. We prepared this island over here. There we go. Look at that. So I was just sort of glancing around because I know the barges mod was having some problems uh, for some people, but it's working okay. There's a there's a huge queue of everything going backwards and forwards because I've just reset and cleared all the traffic. Um, but the fix for the barges mod at the minute is just to redraw your lines going in and out. Um, these ones here, the one way sort of lines that you use, and that should work. So I think we are good to go. Oh, very nice. So why don't we start by, very first thing to do is putting in our airport district on here. Let's grab this big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, completely forgot that it changes all the land as well. I don't want to mess up the, yeah, you see what you get. You want to keep an eye on. Uh, have you used the district tool of airports on the edge of your land? You get this sort of herky-jerky sort of bit of land here. So... Um, there we go. What I was going to say was, I will put a collection of the mods that I've got now that are all updated, uh, listed maybe in a comment or a collection or something like that for you all to take a look at. But, I mean, as always, when there's a new update out, you just need to... I'm going to stay away from the edge. You just need to take your time, go through your mod list, see where the things are updated. Don't just assume that you can load up every single mod that you had before and it's all going to work because... Boink! It just, it just won't. It just won't. You need to work on that. Okay, so there we go. So that is the start of our little airport area. We need a name for this. What have you got? Let me know. Tea related, airport related. I know you're going to come up with something super special. So let me know in the comments. So what has that unlocked? Let us take a look. We've got a nice collection of items here. So we've got the classic terminal. We have the modern terminal to each of those and the ultra modern. So what I'm probably going to do is get to unlock some of these other larger ones um, and then we'll sort of upgrade what we have. So we just sort of need to get things going. Uh, we've got this road coming in here. I'm not sure if I can place anything up against that, can I? Uh, oh, look at that. I could go right on the edge like that. Almost. Go on. You can do it, game. You can do it. That looks straight enough to me. Let's go for that one. Yay, there we go. And then we unlock these items as well. Excellent. So let's just get something basic going that's going to work, hopefully. Get some people using it, and then we'll take it from there. So, yeah, like I said, I do have in mind an airport design that I'm going to go for. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Um, we'll wait until we've got what we need unlocking. I'll tell you what we need is this one here. So the ultra-modern large terminal. We're going to go with... Uh, some of those but yeah let's just get some of these set up first of all so if there's any sort of stuttering or anything in the game you know at the minute it's just going to be it is what it is uh, with the mod but i'm actually quite surprised um how well this has all been working i'm really pleased so i mean it's taken a couple of days of stress and hassle i've had a lot of help a lot of help uh, which i do very much appreciate I'm just getting these as close as i can along there yeah they look okay we'll get some water for these uh, lovely things here and then we've got our runway so i'm just thinking i mean it would seem silly not to have the runway just going straight along here because that's the way the island goes and that will give us the most space 
for length of runway. It is then going to sort of go over these houses here. But let's be honest, these people <laughs> are all living right next to uh, the James T. Kirk Space Center. So they were expecting noise anyway. Um, so being in a flight path of this, it just means that whenever we're launching that, we've got to hope there's no planes coming. But I think the people at the James T. Kirk Launch Center are able to have a chat with the people over here at our as-yet-to-be uh, named airport. I think between them, they can work that out. So we're going to go... Yeah, I thought I might have to just expand that a little bit. Let's go... Oh, darn it, I keep forgetting about the land. Keep forgetting about the land. Just got to be careful. And I'm just going to put this out all the way to the end. Just like that. Okay, that'll do. And then we'll see what we can do along here. Um, which way do I want them to go? I want it to sort of come down there. So when they come in, they land, go out there and take off that way. We could have it so they take off the other way, actually. If it goes this way... I mean, they're still going to be coming in low down there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this way. We're just going to literally run that from one end to the other. There we go. Excellent. Then we need to get our taxiway. So, of course, they come in, they land. Then they can come out either side. So, for now, we're going to have that coming out here. And then I'm literally just going to run that in the opposite direction all the way down here. There we go. And connect that up to there. Very good. So, they can come in and they can take off. And then here... We just want this coming off at an angle to join these up. So let's just, um, yeah, let's just go straight through here like that. And then maybe if we just literally go in like that. And then we literally just go in like that over here. And then we've got to turn that around, obviously. And that should be okay for our start. Oh, we've put already, already we have planes turning up. Look at that. I'm loving all the movement of stuff on here. And I'm hoping that's just going to take off and work. Because I did have some issues with... Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos I've done, well, I did one with taking a look at everything new in the airport DLC. I thought that was just going to leave. <laughs> Is it thinking about it? Uh, which was on the city I used from the Red Bull challenge that we had. And then I built my six-mile runway setup airport on there. And I had some issues with that, with planes not spawning. There seemed to be some sort of bug. So already got passengers, even though nobody's coming out here. That is very, very clever. Oh, they're loading up again. I just want to see where they're going to go. Yeah, excellent. Let's just follow this guy. Oh, and another one. Wait, your turn. Oh, my goodness. Disaster. Narrowly avoided. Not quite. Clip the wing. Oh, I'm just glad it's working. After all the trouble I've had in that other city, I'm just glad that this is set up and works straight away, which is fantastic. It seems to be, just in case you have this issue, if your runway overlaps the invisible airplane routes that are going around your map, then it could cause a problem. Um, so what you could get is the more network stuff mod... And you could just sort of move the invisible airport routes around. So, here we go. Would be nice if it started taking off a little bit sooner, I've got to be honest. But at least it's using the whole runway. There we go. And it takes off at the end. And that is the first, here comes the second one behind, the first inaugural flight out of New Zealand. And actually, the way that it goes, it's not flying over here. So that is really good. I'm really pleased with that. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. So let's take a look at our area. What do we need to do? So we need to get attractiveness score up. So that is horrendously... That is actually lower than I thought. I thought placing some of these items down uh, would give us attractiveness. So noise, attractiveness zero. And that doesn't have any... All right, okay. Well, let's get working then. So let's get this on. This has got attraction of 60. Attractiveness, if I could speak. I'm going to pop that yeah, on this way. I'm going to check which way the windows are facing. So, looks like there's windows all around this thing, so it can go there. Yep, that's fine. So that, just want to make sure things are working. Yeah, we've got some attractiveness. Okay, cool. And we've got hotels and things. So, along the front out here, what I'm going to do is, we are going to upgrade this road to this one with the trees. Oh, and then we're going to try and adjust some of the trees. Oh, that's uh, locked, isn't it, that one there? Oh, let's try the tree thing. Hopefully this isn't broken. So we've got some of the new content creator trees, and we should be able to just click on there. Yay, it works. Oh, nice. Look at that. 
Look at that. What's this? Like a palm tree. Oh, wow. That is... That is very tall. I thought the scale was going to be adjusted down. Let's see how big these are. Yeah, the scale's adjusted down on those. Okay, so we know that's working. Yeah, I think the coconut tree will work okay. That is sort of fitting in with the island sort of theme that we've got around here. So we're going to go with that. Um, we are going to need some car parking down here to try and encourage some people to get out here and... Uh, park so yeah what do you think out of these i quite like this one here that says car park on it i think that's quite nifty maybe we could just put a little area together uh, with some of those in that'll be good so that was this one here six by four medium parking garage if you want to have a search for that on the workshop oh interesting thing to note there i've just used the picker tool to pick this road over here and put it over here and of course it doesn't pick it and take the trees as well which you know makes sense um, but uh, yeah, worth keeping that in mind. Okay, there we go. Nothing too complicated. Got some taxi stands, got some car parks, but we really need to get this attractiveness up. So let's have a look what other options that we have in here. If we come along to... Uh, oh, bus terminal. Yes, definitely. We're going to get that in. Here we go. We've got access to some hotels. The budget hotel. That just seems perfect for me. That does come in a couple of different colours. Um, let's just get our area out here. Try not to mess up the edge of the land. Failed unsuccessfully. Let's just smooth this out again. There we go. Excellent. So I'm thinking... Uh, two budget hotels we can pop those in along the side there we go they've actually come in exactly the same color so i'm going to just change that i thought there were different colors available maybe not maybe not this one okay airport excellent and that fits in with the yellow here actually yeah do you know what we'll leave it like that i think that looks okay oh just had a thought let's upgrade these to the tree ones and then i can put the coconut tree uh, we go back to here. Whoa. Go back to here. Do that on the paths as well. Look at that. There we go. We'll do that. Very cool. Planes are coming in. Okay, good. So, oh yeah, look at this. They are coming in. This is exactly what I want to see. 143. So a little bit more. What do we have? Well, we've got our parked planes and we have our hangars. We've got this big space along here. So I think what we're going to do, if we turn that one off and grab this... I'm going to use this little spot here, and we're going to come in, let's come in there, go back the whole 10, and come out like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we could just, add, I mean, we literally could just put some hangers along there, couldn't we? Oh, the bus, 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 bus. I sort of forget. So if we go like this... Oh man, this is getting super, super busy. Look at this, this is fantastic. So I've just used some of these props in here. But wow, I'm so pleased that this is working. And we've got a load of planes coming and going. And we've got a lot of people turning up down here. We do have some people parking out the front there, which I didn't really want to park in there because we've got our car parks uh, over here. So what I'm going to do is use Traffic Manager. Uh, not that one, this one here. And we're going to say no parking and no parking. You're going to come into here. That will be good. So what are we up to? Let's take a look. Excellent. Oh, a couple more people and we're going to hit the next level. So let's just let this run for a moment or two. And then see what we get. Oh, there we go. That didn't take very long, did it? So let's come out of that screen. Congratulations. Large hangars, luxury airport. The larger style of concourse and terminal. I think this is the one we want. The modern, this one here. The ultra modern large terminal. Cool beans. Then we've got the lounge and all sorts of things. Nice. Okay. So I think most of this is going to have to go. And I'm hoping it doesn't lose us our two star. So just in case I do something wrong, quick save. We'll be right back. Okay, here we are uh, outside the world. You may recognize this place. Been there a couple of times. Let's zoom in and find the airport that we are going to be taking inspiration from. 
the Beijing Daxing International Airport in China. Let's just zoom right in here and look at this beauty. So you can see the two sides that we've got here, which I'm going to try and emulate with the tools that we've got. And if we zoom in here, we can see all the different stands airplane stands which are all the way around and i'd like to set this up so we have like small planes medium planes and large planes something like that just to sort of differentiate the different sections that we've got but there's so many uh plane stands built in here and then we'd have to have this little extra section that comes out here but i think i think we can do something with this we're gonna need some space um i'm not sure we're gonna get all the runways in that they've got here uh, they've got, I think it was five I counted. I've got this one here. Um, then we've got this one down here. And then there's a couple over here, if I remember. Yeah, three, five right and three, five left as well. And then we've got like a cargo section, it looks to me. There's a load of, look at these hangars. Don't they look familiar? Don't they look familiar? So I would sort of view this perhaps as a cargo area. We've got a nice little track and things over there. But yeah, we'll do something like this and at least have a couple of runways but you can see what we're working with here we are going to need a lot of room yeah right okay um so this is all gonna have to go and i completely forgot when i was making it that i was only getting it up to uh, level two so we could build with some stuff so <laughs> so that was a complete waste of time but i'm sure we'll recreate uh, this lovely little car park area that we've made down there in our new super duper massive gonna have so many planes landing at it you won't add them and believe it airport which will be along any moment now okay all gone um i'm just gonna leave this here so we don't lose our international airport two star rating and i really want to keep the game on pause so this is going to end up getting pretty pretty large um so i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna lose a lot of these little coves around here this thing needs to be flattened out and squared off okay i think we'll go with that for now that should be okay so i'm just gonna let this run get rid of the water get rid of the sand actually no i'm not gonna let the game run because we might lose our two star status um do you know what let's let it run and see what happens no, we're fine. Still got the two-star status. They just want all of that built in. Okay, cool. Whoa, flooding everywhere. It turns out there was a water source right in the middle here. So, yeah, lots of water to get rid of. It's almost like a tidal wave heading across to the old airport. Oh, I think it'll survive. It'll be fine. But you're going to get deleted anyway, so who cares? Okay, so we should be good to go now. So we are going to dive into our ultra-modern style, as we mentioned and yeah we're gonna take what we saw in china as as an idea as the start and then we're gonna sort of expand on it so i did try having uh we could pause this now a couple of these so you can sort of connect these together if you get like this coming out here then you can add another one on there and you get that sort of shape but yeah then you've got like no not many places you can put planes and so yeah we're going to come up with something slightly different we're going to keep this one here this is the entrance to the airport and we'll have it set in here because we're going to have car parking all sorts of stuff back here we're going to start off with that and then i do want this coming straight out the back here and then around here um, we are going to have a lot of stands. So we're going to start off with our smaller ones first. And we're going to try and sort of fit in here as many as we can. Now what you can do, you notice how it clips like that when you get too close. If you put on anarchy, you can actually get right up against it. But I'm going to go with whatever it lets me do. So as close as we can like that. And then we've got that little bit of space in between. I don't mind that. And then around here think we can get another two like there and then we start coming down the straight part yeah so these over here i'd like to see if we can sort of change the angle a little bit so at least they looked like i know they're fitting up against the shape here but with a little bit of move it mod let's just see if we can make that look a bit better there we go i think that looks okay and then we should be able to just connect these up like that whichever way that ends up going yeah, that's okay. And then we can start adding some larger ones along here down this stretch. I'm not sure how many we're going to have down here. I think maybe we'll go with... How close can I get that? Oh, it's like there. And then what I'm going to do, if I come out... Actually, that 
Yeah, that's fine, like that. So then I'm going to mirror that on this side, and then we're going to change this end. Okay, there we go. Excellent. We've got one, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen plane stands on there so far, which is fantastic. So over here, I now want the arms coming out in each direction. We've got a clever little trick we can do with those as well. So let me just look. I've got a picture here. I did a little bit of testing earlier. We want to leave ourselves enough space that we can fit more stands over there because we're really going to stock this thing up, I tell you. So now this is going to come out this way. So what I think I'm going to do is come out from there to there. So that went straight. Oh no, not that one. This one here. That went straight there and then went out again. That would probably be okay yeah excellent then we can delete these parts okay this is actually different from what i i was trying earlier yeah we're going to take a part off of each end if i took two parts off each end because then what we're going to do is have it going out this way as well which is going to give us that sort of distinctive shape that we had so let me just see if i can get this get this set up how i want it Okay, there we go. So we've got these parts sticking out here. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of work with node controller on the ends here. So if we just bring that up, here we go. Node controller has all been updated. So we grab the end of this and change this to 200%. There we go. Excellent. And then we get this nice big bulbous end. I think 300% was too much. Yeah. 200, I think, was the best way of doing that. 200. I think that fits in okay there. So we're going to do that all the way around. There we go. Excellent. So we're getting that slightly bulbous look on the end, which I really like. Fits in with the theme that we've got going over here. Um, and then we can do a little bit of work on these as well. So if we just click on here, uh, we can extend these or we can shrink them. And I quite like shrinking that all the way down. So this sort of meets up a bit more. But then this one over here, um, if I straighten the ends, do I prefer that? Yeah, I think I prefer it being straightened. Actually, if we delete it all, we just bring it in as it is. There we go, all the way. It just gets rid of... Yeah, there we go. I think that just adds a little something to it. And now we've got space for even more planes to be added onto each of these arms. Hopefully, that's the idea. Okay, so we can fit four along here. They're going to need a little bit of adjustment. Um, if we just sort of hook these up like this, um, because we've extended this end over here, these will still snap in what would have been the original place, but of course it's sort of covering over this road. So you might find you just need to tweak these out a little bit for them to make uh, sense with how this all works. Yeah, so maybe something like that. And then I'm wondering whether we could somehow get a whole load around here, which would be good. Um, but as you're going to see, you can't snap to this end piece. Um, but what we could do, I mean, this has got sort of windows looking out here like that. Oh, look at that reflecting that lovely city that's behind. I'm looking into another dimension. But yeah, what we can do is use the picker mods. Uh, I'm going to try and get some medium... Uh, stands there we go around here uh, i'm going to plop it there and then i'm going to use the move it mods to move it around and see whether we could get a couple sort of fixed in here that look like it would work okay yeah i think one on the end looks okay if we just sort of zoom in here a bit the window is wide enough that we can put this uh, this entryway this entry passageway here you can sort of slot into the side and that looks like where you would come out. And then they can view that plane through the window. And then we've got another load around this one as well. So, yeah, I think that zoop, is going to work out well. And then not quite sure where my taxiway is going to go to connect all these together. Uh, let's have a look. So, I mean, this is this is a very big work in process. We just did something like that. that actually works quite well, doesn't it? Then we can just go straight down there. I mean, this, this might, as I said, be changed to go around in a different direction. But so far, that is not too bad. Yeah, we need to just work on the shape of this a little bit. But we're getting there. But then we struggle with the space over here. So I could copy that and put it over here. I'm wondering whether I could just use Move It Mod and grab all of these like that. 
and then where's my movie mod thing gone it's hidden behind here and then copy that there we go and then line this up around here if i could that would be great okay how does that look do you know what that is not too bad i think a couple of things here need moving but let me get those sorted out okay there we go that is not looking too bad now what i'm thinking as well i don't know if i mentioned it i'm gonna have one runway this side and one runway this side whether they sort of cross over or they're definitely going to go in two separate directions anyway along the sides here um so planes are not going to get to any of these stands if they've landed over this side and vice versa or what i could do is have one face in one way one face in the other have one as the one where they come in and one with the one where they go out yeah i think we'll put all of these in first and then we'll see how that goes this side around here is going to be for the large ones which we oh yeah build a runway uh, which we won't unlock until level three so i think what we might just do is hook this up as it is so far try and get to level three and then yeah take it from there okay what we're going to do to try and line this up let me get a rural road our little gravel road here and if i bring that out from there i want to find somewhere we can sort of line this up just seeing if that doing that's going to help me so if i can go from there to down here yeah, this, this is different angles altogether, isn't it? So that's not really helping me at all. <laughs> what I want is this one to be the same as this one over here. So actually, yeah, that should help me, shouldn't it? Okay, let's just let's just see what happens. Okay, so with those points, we can see where the runways are going to go. That one's sort of going to come in here, and that one's going to sort of come in here, which should be good, which means this is going to have to go... Darn it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the move it mod. I'm going to grab all of that. And we're going to shift it into there. Don't worry, that will come along in a moment. There we go. Right. Oh, man, this is getting exciting. Let's get our runway. So, I, yes, I can with anarchy. Just sort of place that over the top. But what you can't do, which is annoying, is what I'm trying to do here is do like one length and then add to it afterwards, which would be good because that would really help you line it up. Hmm. So how can I do this? I think I'm going to have to just eyeball it and try and get that like in the middle of the runway and just go as far as we can. So it's 13,020. It looks like that road's in the middle. It looks a bit close to over here, actually. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to change this bit of land over here. We're going to make this bigger. So I'm going to right click. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to left click over here and start dragging out and that is the height that it will it will make it and then we'll do that again so i'm now going to just clip it so this little road here just turns blue and we're managing to skillfully avoid all the rocks as well there we go just turns blue in fact i'm gonna do it so it doesn't turn blue be just outside and that is 13 8 60 and we're going to destroy it then I'll do the same over here. Oh man, all the rocks are getting destroyed today. What is going on? 13,860. There we go. Oh darn it, that one was meant to go the other direction, wasn't it? Oh, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? Um, how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to do some measuring again, aren't I? So I go from there, I can start drawing it at that point and then finish over there. So yeah, let's delete that and try that again. And then this time I can just literally come straight through to there, can't I? 13,860 for both ones. Delete that delete this delete that oh man this is looking good this is looking good isn't it how's the height and everything looking yeah that's all looking okay we'll get rid of those rocks don't you worry okay right so let's just think what we're doing here for connecting these sides up yeah so looking at this let's just remove all of these rows looking at this top one over here so we've got the landing is this side um so that could literally come out at uh, one segment and then come straight into here and they can loop all the way around and then when they get here they could just go straight back out again if i put anarchy on still won't let me do it okay we'll go out let's say we'll go out five which i think is that that and then connect up why wouldn't let me connect there that would just be the perfect place to connect to and even with anarchy on i can't do it oh i tell you what actually i want another 
another road going along here, don't I? One of these. Uh, so if I actually do this in the middle. There we go. We need that anyway, don't we? And then what we could just do then is... Can I come straight out with this and connect it to there? With anarchy on? I can. There we go. Just need to sort of maybe fiddle with that bit there. But that looks okay. So they'll come in, they'll land, they'll come in there, they've got access to all of these, turn around, then they'll go down there, join the end, and take off. How about that? Does that look okay? And then we've just got to basically do the opposite on the other side, because they're coming in this end. Okay. Okay, I think I've got it. So we're going to turn all of these around, if I can. If I can get in there. If you can let me do it. Come on now. There we go. Excellent. Okay. That works, doesn't it? That that works. Okay. So now we just need to get our road set up. Uh, now we've got this road that comes in down here. I think what we're going to do is I just want to get the roads in and make sure it works. Uh, before I worry too much about how everything looks. So let me just get some... What have we got here? We've got bus road. Has it given us any new two-way uh, bus roads like that? Two-lane, one with a bus. I think that probably looks three-lane. Yeah, I think it probably... Oh, there is three lanes in there, isn't there? So that'll be this one here. We just turn that one around the other way. That is pretty much the same thing, bus and taxi and everything. Oh, excellent. Okay. I'm just wondering what to do here. I feel like we need a bigger road coming up the middle. And we're gonna do we're gonna do something here. Let's just get rid of those. I'm gonna get a for you road with what have we got? Medium with trees. So I want that smack bang in the middle, which is gonna be there. Yeah, something like that. We'll we'll work on the front. We'll work on the front. And then we just need to connect this road up basically here. So let me just uh, grab a 2U road. We'll take one with trees and then we're going to just upgrade this little bit down here and then we're going to break this off and just for now we're going to just hook that up to there. So everything is all hooked up and um, it just needs... Oh, look at those water pipes. Let me just sort those out. Oh, there we go. Looking much, much better. Get all that water going. Everything's coming to life and then we just need some power uh, which we have coming down here right by the side of the... Uh, one way which isn't going to work so let's get rid of all of that there we go and for now we'll just run that down the middle i'm going to forget that little bit there i just want this set up working running make sure everything is happy oh there's planes appearing already oh my goodness medium planes small planes large planes not large planes small planes and medium planes oh this is exactly whoa whoa mama Oh no! What? What? <laughs> what are you gonna do? They're just gonna go straight. Don't worry, kids. Everybody's safe. And he takes off at the end. Here comes the other big one behind it. Oh man, this is fantastic. You don't know how pleased I am to see this because I've had so much trouble <laughs> getting my my saves working, and now we've just got planes going everywhere. Oh, this is nice. Oh, fantastic. So we know the place is working. I'll tell you what we do need is something that we haven't got. Uh, let's jump into here. I'm surprised they just haven't been crashing all over the place. So let's go into this menu here and grab this ultra modern control tower. Uh, we're going to need one of those. Where shall I put that? I'm thinking at the end here, but that's like where the window is. People looking out. Um, right there and here as well, or just one on that end just one on that end i think they've got the they've got the windows they can look out on the front actually that one there has got the perfect view of this runway excuse the old airport in the middle there and that one there 
you could say he's got the view of that one on that side. Yeah, so that will work okay. Oh, man, this is looking good. I'm enjoying this. This is great. This is great. So what do we need? Attractiveness score and passenger count. So we've got to get our attractiveness score back up again. Um, that didn't actually take too much last time. What have we got unlocked that can help us? Well, we've got our luxury airport hotel, which if that went in there, that would be like the perfect place in the middle. I mean, anywhere you stay around here, it's going to be noisy, isn't it? Because you're right by the airport. Oh, look at that. That is nice. And you could sit on your deck, watching the planes taking off and landing either side. Okay, I didn't actually see how much that gave us. What are we up to? 466. So we need quite a bit. And then we want a couple of the cheaper hotels, I think, either side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these down because I want to get up to the next level for the extra large stands or the large stands i should say and then all of this is going to be redesigned we're going to do all of this in another episode so make sure you subscribe to see that where we'll get all of these set out properly and car parks and yeah i knew they came in different colors look we've got red and red and blue now which is great so yeah let me get some stuff in here then oh i like these airline lounge they can relax after a long flight place long on concourse to increase airport attractiveness can I turn that off there so I can see what I'm doing with these? I can. So these little spaces here, we could have like one in the middle there and then one on the same side, uh, on the same place on the other side. And then we could even go for a couple here. Is it going to let me fit two in? As close as we can. And then two on the other side. I'm wondering whether to change the colours on these or whether just to leave it at what it is. And then we'll go for here as well. What's that taking us up to? Oh, we're so close. Hmm. I quite like this colour. So I'm wondering whether if I delete that, use the picker picker mod, is it going to give me the same colour? It is. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> it was just pure luck. And I think this will be the one. No, it's blue. It's going to be the next one then. And that'll be still blue. Hang on now. So it is totally random. It doesn't like follow a pattern, which I thought it did. Uh, I'll come on seriously now. Just because I press record, it's like, nope, not going to give you the color that you want. What the heck's going on? Is it like a, depending on which way it's facing in the, oh, there we go. I've deliberately moved it away from that spot. And then we'll move it down again. That was very, very strange. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so we'll get those in there. And I'm pretty sure that would have... Oh, let's put this back on again. That would have got... Uh, let's take this up here like that. Go down the middle. That should have got our attractiveness. Nice and high. Let's take a look. Where's the thing gone? There it is. Yes. Excellent. And then we could do a little bit of... Some sort of parky area out here. And let's have a look. Because we've got the, the fence, haven't we? I mean, the fence could... Let's just go like this. And that could sort of come down here like this, couldn't it? I don't think anyone's ever going to be walking out here. But we could fence that off for sure. Yeah, so something like that, because then you could get some, some trees and whatnot in there, which I think would look pretty good. Oh, dear. Now, what's going to happen here? Um, I'm hoping that the helicopters aren't too far away so, so they could come and deal with this. And I'm hoping that no planes are going to come and taxi right into here, because that would be a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? This guy's looking like he wants to come. Why don't we use one of those? This is all closed off. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for not coming in here. No, keep going. Keep going. That, thank you very much. That's fine. Right, we have a fire helicopter depot right here. We have a fire right over there. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be coming over to fix it anytime soon. I'm not quite sure uh, what's going on there. If I pop this in, I don't think they're going to be able to get in there. That's the only thing. Ha! Huh. Oh, no, hang on. There he is. It's already been taken up by someone else. Oh, what a star. What a star. Here he comes. Back to finish the job. Hopefully before any planes want to come in here. Where's he gone? There he is. He's right up there. What a pro. Is he done? 
You missed. You like, literally went right in the middle between the fire. I mean, dude. Okay, here we go. Third time's a charm. Maybe line it up a bit better. You know, splash it about a bit on the other sides of the fire. Yep, that looks a little bit more. There we go. It just took him a couple of extra goes. Ooh, eek. Gonna need a bit of a paint job to sort those out, I think. So policies, we didn't have these on from before. So we've got a bonus 200 points to our attractiveness. Well, we can pop that one on, even though I suppose you don't really need it. But yeah, it's going to cost <laughs> extra money. Yeah, we really don't need to do that, do we? We've got enough attractiveness. What's, what about this one? A land value bonus of the whole airport. This is a big airport. That's going to be very expensive. And this one says they're more likely to take cars and we'll make some money. Do you know what? We'll leave all of those off. We don't need them. We're literally just waiting for enough people to come and go. And then we'll be up to the next level. And look at all the people coming in. Look at all the people coming in to travel via whatever the airport is going to be named by you lovely people. Aha! Hooray! We've done it! Excellent! We've unlocked oh, all sorts of transport options, all sorts of decoration options, and the large stands, and the cargo stuff. Good grief. That is absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. This is not exactly as I imagined it. When we looked at those pictures earlier, it, was, it wasn't exactly like this, was it? But I'm just, I just think this looks really fantastic. So let me know in the comments below what you think about my design. We are going to work on this more in the next episode. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. We've got much more to do. Got an airline to design as well, which I'm really looking forward to. So thank you very much for watching. Check out the other video on the screen if you haven't seen that already. And I will see you all soon. Take care. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.